Welcome back to Bull Sessions here on 680 KFEQ. Here's your hosts, Randy Baker and agronomist Brad Law. We're back, Gary. Welcome back to Bull Sessions. Uh, it is so nice to have somebody in the studio other than Bradley. Well, and I love Bradley. Don't get me wrong. But as, as you push me away from the microphone, Randy, <laughs> you, you, you you just kind of. Uh, well, we're sharing one because Gary's in here. We have two mics, but we do got three chairs, so I'm not chairs. sitting on your lap. You guys are cute. You guys are snuggling together over there. I like we it. are snuggling. Uh, uh, we're very close in here, aren't we? Oh, man. If it wasn't if it wasn't Christmas Eve, Miles, I would. <laughs> Focus By the way, your the hot farmer. chocolate's almost ready. Let me, I'll get yeah. that Are you? Okay. Focus mm-hmm. on the farmers coming up, too, later on. Yeah, and I think we're going to sing Kumbaya, too. Are we? Mm-hmm. Why? Because we're all cuddled in close like this. This is Christmas. we got to sing Christmas songs. <laughs> Kumbaya is not Christmas music. Okay. So, Wait, it, it's let's Kumbaya, talk to my Gary. Lord, that's almost Christmas. I want to talk to Gary. Okay. You want to talk to Gary? Yeah. Yeah. Tell oh. us, Gary, about the county commissioner job. I know that's a big job. I, I've often thought, I've had other friends that I know that do that, and I, I bet you get a lot of phone calls. You know what? It's, <laughs> it's not as bad as it could be. Really? People are nice. See that attitude yeah. he's For got, For the most Bradley? part, yeah. yeah well, they probably, nice. Randy, if anybody's unhappy, they probably come and talk to you and got all their frustration out, and then they they, and then they call Gary. Then they I call see. Gary, and they're calm and relaxed. Uh-huh. Well, one thing that makes a little bit of difference is Gentry County is a township county, so the township boys take care of grading oh, the roads. They take the oh. hits. Yeah, so that changes things a little bit. But now we do take care of the bridges. We take care of the tubes. It's a big deal. And, you know, from an agricultural standpoint, I think that, that brings up kind of an interesting subject because sure, one of the things that uh, we're seeing now is bigger and bigger equipment. Yeah, I got to get Big done. Stuff. I got to get done. Uh-huh. Got to go. It needs to be 70 foot wide and go 12 <laughs> mile an hour. We're blessed with the uh, fact it's, I guess it's a blessing, not really, but we've got three different rivers basically going through us uh, that eventually go into the Grand, three different forks, and um, and then a lot of contributaries into that. So we've got a lot of bridges, and we've yeah. been building bridges forever, and we're still not done. <laughs> Probably and never we will continue be. to make them wider and wider, um, and I don't know if we're ever going to get them wide enough. You're making Gentry County great again. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Your yeah, infrastructure. That's it. Yeah. You're that's always it. working that's on it, buddy. That's good. But there is a few things going on that we're doing that I think is kind of kind of helping. But then there's some other challenges too that we might talk mm-hmm. about. Okay. But. Um, with some of these combines and the duels and everything, why they're having trouble getting across the bridges. So no we're, we're taking a number of bridges and making the uh, guardrails on the sides where they fold down. So you, That's know, you can hang a duel out there, hang your duels on the outside and get to combining. And then, uh, you know, later on, typically we go back and, and put them up. And uh, we, do, we do a few more every year. And mm-hmm. so Rome far, wasn't built in a day. I'd so like far, to see one of them. Good. That, yeah, well, I, it's a concept that our bridge crew kind of put together, and and, uh, and it's working. Oh, yeah. But when we talk about some of the challenges going on, and, and I think we're, we're just starting to realize this, you get some of these way wagons, it's like uh, Hall's 1,200 bushel. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And Big then, tires. Yeah. And then they're pulling them across those bridges, and all 1,200 bushel is on one axle. Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> and that, you know, you think about a semi, you know, going yeah. across when you got a lot of axles and you're all spread out. Mm-hmm. But it's not so much that way with a way wagon. I, I, I don't think I can legally take 1,200 bushel down the road with my semi. No. You would try. I can't get that many on there. No. I've heard but, people have tried, but I can't on mine. But there is getting to be a fair amount of uh, 1,200 bushel way wagons around mm-hmm. there. You know, a few of them's on tracks. And all yeah. that pressure's but, right but on one. One. The track would help, but yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of a challenge. So, so you got to beef up the the bridge structure itself, right? As yeah. far as for yeah. carrying more loads. Well, you know, and the state has a program where any bridge 20 foot or over, 
they check them every two years. And then so, you know, you take a look and see based on that report whether it needs to be replaced or some work done on it or or whether you do need to have a, a different rating or a rating right out there in front of the bridge but you know what sometimes that kind of gets ignored oh i bet it does <laughs> i bet it does so if the sign but says I, this many ton we just knock the sign over with the, with the <laughs> yeah. corn head and then we can go <laughs> I think, or the yeah. brush cutter surely or, that never happens but i guess i would say that you know a lot of times if these guys are having a problem and they come to us and and tell us why then you know we'll we'll try to get something done it, it may be build a new bridge it may be replace the old bridge with a, a tube if we mm-hmm. can sometimes it's hard to hold the tube you got brush up the way that clogs oh, yeah. it plugs it up or uh, it just simply won't uh, hold the uh, flow that that's trying to go through there never ending battle in it Yes, there's always challenges. Always and is, challenges. Is equipment and brush, gets here's another thing. Brush. Brush along the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> Especially you got a lot of your out-of-county uh, landowners that they don't care. They just seem to grow up and because uh, yeah. they're probably using it for hunting or whatever. Privacy fans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and then you got somebody trying to go through there with a combine. Why, that kind of creates a problem. Oh, Yeah. So yeah. you, you want it so we can get a 30-foot head down the road on the combine, right? <laughs> well, that'd be nice. <laughs> That's what people want. We yeah. just got to uh-huh. go. And the road was made for a horse and a buggy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. Well, at least you're not getting a lot of, of bad calls if, since you got the township deal. I believe our county, I'm, I live in DeKalb County. And I believe it's a township. And, yes, it is. And you know what Randy really enjoys? When the grader man comes and grades the road, and you know how they make those wind rows? He likes that in front of his driveway so he has a speed oh. bump so he doesn't get to driving too fast right. before he leaves. You're you're just trying to provoke me on this or, Yuletide or the, evening. Or the wind row pushed over into the yard. So yeah, it's, it's, it is. Yard, but, it always and is. One and, thing I, I thought was good was uh, we had a – question on a tube that the water runs downhill right yeah. it's supposed to run supposed downhill. to so if the tubes put in where the water would run uphill <laughs> you might have a pond somewhere there <laughs> okay i just i was just curious about that we've had some uh people question uh, one of those but well you know one of the challenges that some of these townships have is the population is slowly leaving mm-hmm. in in those areas you know and um, so there's there's not really very many taxes being paid. And so oh, they have yeah. trouble coming up with enough money to even pay somebody to get on the maintainer. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of them are doing that now. I, I, you don't, I've noticed out and about a lot of roads aren't maintained quite like they used to be. And I, I figured as much. It, it's, uh, I don't know, it's too bad that our rural areas are kind of, Going away, I don't know. I don't want to say going away. You know, we done a, a show a while back. We called it Small Town. And and like what you do, Gary and Brad, and and King City really is kind of leading the way in a lot of this stuff on, on community support. I mean, you've got a very, I think, vibrant council. Um, I think we do, yeah. It is. They're, you're always, you know, striving. You're trying. Where a lot has given up, and and I hate that. I, I'd like to see that come back again. You remember when we was kids, was Union Star uh, all around us, pretty bollocks in little towns. Yep. Well, there is several things all around, like in small towns. There's several things to be thankful for. You know, you can look oh, at yeah. things like the churches and right. all the stuff in the community. There is a lot of good things, and every community, if you have a big city. There's crime. There's corruption that you don't see in small towns. Mm -hmm. So, you know, then small towns have their own struggles. But, you know, positively moving on, there's little things to work through that aren't, you know, that devastating of an issue. Right. Yeah. How long have you lived in King City now, Gary? I know you Union Star. We went to school there. mm, but Yeah. And even then, our address was King City. So I guess. Oh, was it? Yeah. (laughs) Pretty much. Okay, so you. Except for a year in Stanbury, I guess. 
<laughs> you, you're a lifer then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, county commissioner. I, I quit two jobs because I didn't want to move to St. Louis. <laughs> I, yeah, I heard that once. Uh, Monsanto deal, wasn't it? Wanting you to come to St. Mm, Louis. Well, yeah, that would have been one of them. That might yeah. have been uh, another... Some about that St. Louis traffic. Oh, my oh, God. It's <laughs> nuts. It even makes Kansas City look like a piece of cake. It does. Well, Kansas City's not bad. No. no you don't think? No. No. No, not if you spend a little time over in St. Louis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I've sat I've set in a stalled-out Peterbilt on the bridge on 635 at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that bad. I kind of remember that, don't I? Is I that the, the time you're... The, the last bad, year? The, yeah, this summer. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. So you you called me for Yeah. I I was giving you some oral support. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But. Gary, you like your job at the which, commissioner? Which deal? one, Randy? I was gonna say, yeah, which no, one? No, I really do. <clears throat> I really do like it. it. You know, you get to uh meet a lot of new people, you sit on several boards, you have you know, you get to be involved in several things, and uh, you know you can you can see yourself, you know, doing some good as you go. Sure, sure. Uh, Miles, you're going to have to help me out here in a minute because uh, Bradley just messed my timer up. So we'll go ahead and go to a commercial, well, he and said I'm going to right chastise now. this young man. Gary can help me. Uh, and you've got to focus on the farmer. we got to focus on the farmer. You and we'll be right back with more Bull Sessions on 680 KFEQ.